this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a mini album project with you. This is a design team project for Buttery Scraps. I created a mini album. Surprise! Um, anyway, I used the Bow Bunny Butterfly Kisses collection. I used the 6x6 and I used a couple of sheets of 12x12. I also used a little pack of coordinating brads that went with it as you'll see. They're kind of missing a little bit. <laughs> And then I used um, my favorite doily die, which is this one right here, and it's from um, it's a bunch of stitched doily dies from My Creative Time. And I also used this cute little jar die, and I've had it for quite a while, and again, it's from uh, Emma as well, My Creative Time, and it's a stitched chunky jar dies. So these are all the dies that you get. You get the two little labels, two sizes of jars, and this cute little wrapper that goes over this one, and the two lids. So I used those. So on the front cover, I fussy cut this little image out. It was one of one of the cutouts, a 4x4 four four or something, and I just cut around it. Um, I cut out some, I cut some doilies right here, a white and a gray one here. This is one of the gorgeous large silver filigree corners from Buttery Scraps. I inked around all the edges with pumice stone. On the spine, I just used some solid gray cardstock, and I this is either from, I think it's Stampin' Up! Smoky Slate. And I used a Stampin' Up! Um, hexagon embossing folder to emboss it. And then here is the back. Love the little uh, mason jar paper with all the flowers and the bees and the butterflies. So on the front, I've got a lobster clasp. Again, this is from Buttery Scraps. And this is the silver one. These are the large lobster clasps. And then I have some chain right here and a couple of eyelets. And then on the chain, I used some different charm packs. So I'm going to unhook this so you can see the little charms because they are really cute. There's She's got a bunch of different charm packs and I used um, a few of them, different ones. The little heart is from the uh, Love Struck charm pack. This cute little leaf is from Autumn Harvest. And then the butterfly and I think the flower and this super cute little bee is all from the Flutterby charm pack. So that's what those are from. And on the inside front cover, I went ahead and I have another one of those gorgeous large filigrees right there. This is a cute little metal flower. Again, this is a brad from the paper collection, and I die cut. Oh, I used a die as well. Um, another die from M at My Creative Time, and it punches a hole in there, but I just went ahead and just put the brad in and then um, die cut a little stitch circle there. And that's a strip of design paper. And then this is a little envelope. I left it open in the back to tuck the tag in, and then you open this up. And I have a cute little tag. You can write something in there if you want. And this envelope is from My Favorite Things. So this is an envelope style mini album. And I do have a tutorial already on my YouTube channel. And it's the Say Cheese mini album page tutorial. And I'll have a link in the description box. These are some small little silver filigree corners from Butterbee Scraps. And this is a cutout. I just popped it up with some foam tape. This is one of those cute brads. And I double matted everything. The envelopes were white. They're a little thin, so I used some solid cardstock and double matted. All of my photo mats are gonna just be gray with white. Some more of the design paper. So the way it works, as you know, it flips up like this. Put a um, photo right here. And then there's another pocket here with a photo mat. Love the polka dot paper. And then over on the bottom of each of these, I used a little small the small little jar right here and die cut some out of the design paper and then this is a different label that I had um, instead of using the label that matched it and then I put one of the little brads in the center and then that's a little jar lid. So on the back these are the inserts. The inserts are pretty plain. They're just um, one of the 4x4 cutouts. I think they're 4x4. Nope, 3x3 three three cutouts. <laughs> Oopsie. That I just mounted on some solid gray cardstock and then put it on dimensional foam tape. And then there's design paper here. And then the insides and the back are all just the gray. And then there is the back of that page. So those go on the top like this. So the cards that came with this set of envelopes, they were, the, they were glossy and I didn't want that. So I just made my own cards the same size as the ones that came in the package. Again, another cute butterfly here. Some more metal corners and photo mat cute polka dot paper and you flip it up and there's that cute mason jar paper again love the wood grain here and here's another one of the die cut jars with a cute little brad inside and then the photo mat here and on the back 
cute hummingbirds with the chandelier and then that's the inside of that one and again this one pulls out but I'm not going to pull them all out for you over here again I have another Brad with a cute little banner another 2x2 two two die cut some more little metal filigrees from Butterbee Scraps and the silver looks amazing and over here again love the wood grain with the butterflies again another die cut mason jar with a cute little brad and here's the cute polka dot paper again and over here i love this little cutout says you are beautiful and there's the polka dot paper again over here another butterfly from the two by twos and then some more cute little filigrees photo mat and the striped paper this paper is adorable it's been, i've had it for a while and i haven't done anything with it but um figured I better hurry up <laughs> and then you can put a photo here here's another cute little die cut jar with another uh, brad right there these brads were darling I thought they were dark they were different designs and they had cute little images on them so I thought that was pretty cute love the hummingbird paper with the butterflies and the flowers and on the back again another cute little cutout it says love this and there's that cute polka dot paper over here again another butterfly with two more filigrees another little banner right here and these are all open with the brad there's that wood grain paper with the butterflies on it and this one lips up and again love the hummingbirds with the flowers and the butterflies another mason jar using the blue wood grain paper here another cute little brad and here's the photo mount for this one love the paper right there with the flowers and the last page there's only five pages in here because it's pretty thick over here it says perfectly imperfect love that and then again some more of the cute floral paper right there on the back inside cover I did use the larger jar and placed it strategically on the paper so I would get this cute butterfly that so it looks like it's in the middle of the jar I popped the lid up on some dimensional foam tape and then I fussy cut two little tiny jars from the six by six paper that had the jars on it I added another large filigree here from Butterbee scraps and another die cut white doily and love the blue wood grain paper so there you go and I'll have a list of of all the embellishments that I used from Butterbee Scraps down below in the description box and a link to the store. I did use my Wink Estella with the clear pen and put it over the top of the jar and on the little bee wings and on the bee body. So there you go everybody. There you have it. That's my little mini album using Little Bunny's Butterfly Kisses. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.